What's up? We're back. And we're ready to get uh, this transmission cut in half. Well, <laughs> it's kind of like cutting it in half. Today, we're gonna be installing my SFI bell housing, flex plate, and ARP bolts. Sounds like three parts, but a lot of work. Cody's still rocking and rolling. Let's get this started. First off, just to ignore that. Don't, don't look at my sweet, uh, my catalytic converter. It's a sweet catalytic converter. It's super awesome. It flows amazing. So I got this. SFI bell housing. Super fancy. If you noticed, this is like half the damn transmission. You know, usually the rest of the transmission is, uh, is attached to it. So ideally, what I need to do is cut my transmission in half, and then this gets bolted right here to the oil pump, the pump for the transmission. And if you're wondering, it's SFI. I think I showed you guys this already. Pretty nice, slick piece. I think it's awesome. Now, the other thing I didn't show you, I got a set of sweet ARPs. ARP bolts so I don't shear them because right now I just have stalkers in it and um, well at this point making too much jam if I haven't making enough jam to uh, break the bell housing probably can shear some bolts off okay speaking of bolts I ended up picking up an SFI flex plate because my mindset was hey if I'm taking it apart might as well put good parts back in so this is a PRW and it's pretty sweet because it's pretty universal has all the bolts on it like bolt patterns so any converter will built up to it it looks super beef I'm happy with it so that's the plan let's get her on the hoist start taking that transmission out luckily it's a race car so it doesn't take very long do it alrighty that went quick how long did it take me Cody how long do you think it took me to take this out Yeah, an hour and a half, something. I wasn't rushing. Drive shafts out, cross members out, and uh, well, transmissions out. So uh, this is where you can see the carnage. We're part of the bell housing on this transmission. Two top bolts broke off. You see, that's where the bolt holes go. And uh, yeah, they sit up here somewhere. Something like something like that. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna JB weld them back on. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but like seriously, there's some serious carnage here. I don't even know, yeah, that's where that one bolted on. Now, just so if anybody's ever wondering, I can get a light here, but there is nothing along this bell housing that would have caused it to crack as I bolted it on or anything like that. These bell housings fail under power. And it's kind of a known thing. That's why they make aftermarket bell housings. So essentially what we need to do is uh, give her a nice cut. I'm not too sure how to do this. I've never done this. Here's my torque converter, little tiny baby converter. I can confirm what stall this is because I think it's too high of a stall, but uh, I don't have kind of ran out of money. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna bolt her back in. And then this flex plate needs to come off. It's a 4L80E flex plate with the uh, adapter, which comes with a 4L80E. So now I'm gonna put my SFI one on and change these bolts out because these are torque to yield bolts as well. It's another reason why I replaced them. And then I'm gonna have to put my little spacer here, which I didn't show you. I got PRW spacer to go with it. They're really cheap. I know you can get China ones that are cheaper, but my mindset is it, like if you're saving two bucks, there's no, there's no point. I'd rather spend two dollars more and get potentially, not necessarily, but potentially a better product. And I know if I product match with PRW and PRW parts, usually shit fits nicer and all that stuff. I'm gonna get this uh, transmission down to the ground and then we're gonna start cutting it in half. So there's the old one. Uh-huh. And then there is the new one. Super beef how much beefier, like how much meat it has there versus that one. A little bit more of a close up on these cracks and how they're broken. It's just crappy cr casting. Like there's a good direct comparison, right? Like it's just thicker, better. And as what I said before, so see all those bolts in there, right in there. 
that is what gets bolted onto there. There it is, it's sitting on there. I still have a little bit of a clearance issue, so I'm gonna have to cut this down, just shave it down probably a little bit. But there you go. Freaking just sitting on there in a couple bolts. Starting to look awesome. I'm super pumped. I'm gonna clean this up a bit here. Probably could have done a bit better of a job, but meh, I don't care too much. Again, this channel's not about dolliness, it's about uh, good old fashioned function over form i want to go fast i don't really care if i have a pretty dress on or not finish her up there she be kind of looks a little bit funny because you know that's literally just lopped in half see that there it has like a kind of a gap but looks super racy i did uh, kind of paint this with a little bit of silver i know it's the gold member but it has, still has the gold oil pan so that's all it counts this hole and this hole gets plugged so i have two spare hardware and then all these get torqued down to 25 foot pounds. You know, it was relatively easy, just kind of sketchy and scary because you're literally lopping it in half. And uh, you gotta get past that point once you're like, you know what, I don't care. It's coming in half regardless. And it's not so bad. Anyways, now we're on to the flex plate. All right guys, what? Well, Turns out I gotta put the old flex plate back on because my bolts, my ARP bolts, are too long. They're meant for a straight flex plate with a spacer. And of course I got a dish flex plate. So I think I'm better off to have the older flex plate on with the better bolts because that's probably gonna be what's gonna fail first. Leave the SFI plate for later. So unfortunately I'll pull the transmission out later and do it but whatever got to get her done so just gonna torque her up torque them up to 85 foot pounds and uh start putting the training in all right guys so i'm gonna end the video here i give her a quick wash after i got the transmission all buttoned up i didn't really show it because it wasn't that fancy just bolting stuff the other stuff but it runs it drives set the trend level uh training fluid level so it's not a stanced out truck or anything crazy it's just kind of that muscle truck look. Not going for that crazy stance life. The cap makes it look super sleeper. Simple little set of rim and tire package and roll pan. Nothing crazy. Hope you guys like it. Nice little street car. Street car. Street truck. Whatever. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys can share, like, subscribe, all that type of stuff. It's all about you guys and it's all about how many comments you guys give us and all that type of stuff. And that is really what gets me fired up to get this stuff done and uh, racing and all that fun. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one.